Hey guys, good morning. Today I'm gonna show you my day of meals. I, I've been doing the intermittent thing, fasting, whatever the word is. So yesterday night, my dinner was at 9 p.m. So today my first meal will be by 1. I'm going to my Pilates class now. So before I go, I just prepare this coffee so, to make sure I won't feel hungry. So I have coconut oil here, cinnamon and pepper. So you can see the oil part there, you see in the coffee. It's very, it's a very good pre-workout thermogenic. Hey guys, just to show you, so now it's 3.10 p.m. The only thing I had so far was the coffee that I showed you this morning at 9 or something. I'm starting to get very, very, very hungry. I didn't eat anything outside. I'm gonna eat this very fast snack, I would say. That's yogurt. So I'm having a whole milk unsweetened. Sweetened. You need to learn how to read the label because all the, the fattening stuff, you're always hiding inside your food. Is yogurt bad for you? No, yogurt is awesome, but it has to be without flavor. It has to be the natural version. So I'm eating three spoons of yogurt, full fat, one spoon of peanut butter. The same way that you have good people, bad people, good doctors and bad doctors, you have good products and bad products. Try to always look at the ingredients and go for the most natural ones. So on the label, I don't know if you guys know this, but all the ingredients, they are in the order of major quantity inside the product. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. So the first ingredient is the main thing in the product, then the second, the third, uh, and the last ingredient is just a pinch of the, that ingredient in the food. Now, if you wanna lose weight with me, I would tell you to always, always read the labels for whatever you wanna eat. So my meal here, I have three spoons of yogurt, one spoon of peanut butter, a little bit of chia seeds. They are very good for fiber and for protein also. Cinnamon, it's good to accelerate your metabolism and also help the absorption of glucose in your blood. Uh, a handful of blueberries. They're good fruits because they almost have no sugar. They have a very low glycemic index. So I replaced banana for blueberry and that's my first meal of the day. So guys, here just to show you, you can see there's no special ingredients added to this thing. So you know how you can get a lot of different yogurt with fruits and stuff and syrup? Run away from those ones. I never read this part of the label right here. I don't think that this part is as important as the ingredient part. You should always look for things that have one up to five ingredients. More than that, it means that it's way too many processed food inside. Now I'm having a hibiscus tea. It's very good for you. In my concept, it's as good as tea, uh, green tea. It's very diuretic and it's very good if you lose weight too. It has a lot of antioxidants. It's like a purplish slash pink color. And here my next meal, I'm having some tomatoes from my garden, omelette with two eggs, bacon, some cheese, and a lot of turmeric as well. So here for dinner, I'm having cucumber from the roof, tomatoes from the roof as well, and also mozzarella cheese. Hey guys, so, I know what you might be thinking now. Oh my god, it's crazy, she's gonna pass out. You know, what kind of food is that? She almost didn't eat anything. Sometimes it happens that you're gonna eat later on or something like that, you're busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're fasting, for an eight hour window, even though it might seem like a long time, it's not that much, food-wise. In eight hours, I'm constantly full, even though if you look at the meals, you're like, oh, that wasn't that much. And then after that, you're gonna sleep, and then when you wake up, you might be, oh, I have a little bit hungry. And then you can have a coffee like the one I showed you guys on the video here. But I promise you guys that I will bring here some better days of cooking and some nicer recipes, you know, nothing so fast like that, like just a random salad from the garden. I'll see you next video. Ciao!